On the day we remember our war heroes, a new generation does battle on the football field in AFL Today in this Anzac Day special. Carlton against Footscray, both looking for their second win of the season. The Blues desperate to arrest the poor start to the season and Footscray struggling to live up to the support given them by their supporters in the off-season. Forward for Carlton with Steve Coonahan at full forward still. Dorothy starting on the bench, Dunlop and Charles knocked away by DeRui. Terry Wallace, Atkins, centering kick off the left foot in front of Davies. Oh, he's marked it. Grant. It's, Charles, it's uh, Grant. They both got crew cuts. This is going to be a tricky kick because the wind here still pretty strong. Well, they've shown that they can kick goals from that area, though. A couple of Carlton players have kicked goals from there. Chris Grant, with the uh, use of his body there, able to hold Dean out. He took a great mark in the second quarter, didn't he? One of the marks of the day here, which resulted in a goal. Hasn't had too many kicks, but he looks at a real great prospect. A kick. A goal. Great start for Footscray in the third quarter. As Grant picks up his second and Footscray's sixth, scores a level. Yes, well done, Chris Grant. He's a real good prospect, Chris Grant, as we have a look at that mark in replay. Nothing much Dean could do about that. He was caught out in front of the ball, drifting over his head. And with the use of his body there, Grant was able to keep him out. And he had a shot from about 30 metres out. The, uh, from where he kicked, he was protected by the stand. So scores a level. Dunlop over the top. McKinnon on the ground. Can't collect it. He nearly hands it to Alvin. Liberatore takes it away from Footscray. Up towards half forward. Meldrum overruns it. Glasscock, who has tagged the Guinness the whole of the first half, now hurries the ball deliberate. over the boundary line. Yep, had to be deliberate. I can't believe that an umpire can do that when 15 times in the first half he could have done the same thing. No, that one was blatant Robbo, and I'm, I go along with the umpire 100%. I'll step in between you two. As McGinnis takes the free kick. Difficult shot because he's right on the boundary with this atrocious wind to contend with. Ooh, could have been a mark down there. Davies goes for the knock-on. Now a chance for Reese jones who does clear it for Carlton. Back to centre wing. Sevilla and Silvani. Sevilla gets out the hand pass to Hogg. Hogg a short pass. Libra Torre. I always admire his work. He does a lot of difficult stuff. Down towards the pocket, Grant again. This time can't take the mark. Kolonyuk on the bottom of the pack. Backup support from Davies. Gets the hand pass out. Grant showing speed. Libertore, snapshot. He's home. Puts me hit the front. Scoreboard. Footscray leading by 6.7. Fire to 5.11. Well, that's a great start by Footscray in this second half. Kicking into the strong breeze. Libertore, very busy. Look at this, Chris Grant nearly taking the mark again, but backing up very well. We see him coming to the pitcher again. Steve Collinook battling hard. Chris Grant, who nearly taken that mark, getting the ball out to Tony Liberatore. A great goal by Footscray. So Bulldogs lead by six points. Early part of the third quarter. Carlton have got a big job in front of them now. They're kicking with the aid of the breeze. We may get away with these conditions now for the rest of the day. Heavy rain fell in the first half. The ball comes to Reese Jones. He plays on and gives the hand pass to Hannah. Hannah's kick is a shocker. Out in front of Dorotich. He gathers well. The two number sixes. Dorotich goes over the top. It's too short. Wallace, Terry, Leon Cameron. Cameron's kick towards half forward and a mark is taken by Hawkins. And the Bulldogs are on fire. Hawkins kick. Up towards the half forward flank. And that's punched away by the Carlton defence. Darren Davies in the picture there for Footscray. Boundary throw in just outside 50 metres. Bulldogs 7 5, lead Carlton 5 11. Charles, Dunlop, they miss each other. Dunlop just gets his foot to the ball. Cameron gets past McKinnon. Cameron's kick towards centre half forward. Footscray mark, Grant. That was a well trapped grab, Bernie. Yes, they're missing uh, David Kernahan there at fullback. Of course, off Certainly the. Uh, yeah, he's got a 
a distinct height advantage over Peter Dean. Yes, Peter, Grant. Peter Dean, I admire him greatly. He's a tremendous player, but he just hasn't got the height to compete with Grant in the air. So Grant, who's kicked two goals and had kicked 13 before today for the other four matches. And Grant has just missed, I think. Yes, it just floated across the face. And the Blues breathe a sigh of relief. The Footscray fans on their toes as their Bulldogs fight hard at Princess Park. The kick in by Derui to half back. Reese Jones has pulled off the ball. He didn't really have control of it. Umpire awards a free kick to the Carlton. Forward come defender. He goes wide. Dorotic out on his own. The ball sits for him nicely. Round onto the left foot goes Dorotic. Shocking kick. McKinnon. Blackwell fumbles. Back to McKinnon. He'll be caught. Oh. Taken to the ground by Whitney. High ball. Sexton marks in the forward pocket. Did that ball go on up the required distance from Hawker? Yes. Well, I thought it could have been a free kick for a high tackle, Ian. He was definitely grabbed around the shoulder. Sexton deep in the pocket. Chance to kick Carlton sixth. High kick goes across the face. Foster, good mark in front of Kernahan. Been a good battle, that. Uh, probably Peter Foster on top of Steve Kernahan. Foster criticised with two or three other of the senior Footscray players after the Eagles match two weeks ago. Certainly has lifted the last two weeks. The kick, Hannah playing his 50th game, kick close to the line, a mark, Gleeson, no, it's out of bounds, well, probably should have been on the full, it is. It is, yeah, good courage though by Adrian Gleeson going back there with the flight of the ball. And the free kick to be taken by Hogg in the back pocket. Footscray lead by seven points, 48 plays, 41. Hogg, brought, nearly made a mess of it. Charles. Had lead Victoria Wallace for options. Wallace fumbles and good tackle, Alvin. Now, Eppleston, can he make amends? Hawker rushes him off the ball. Ball over the boundary line. There's Dunlop comes in pretty smartly and gives away a free kick. Free kick to uh, Eppleston against Jamie Dunlop for a high tackle as Eppleston was sliding along the ground. Right halfback flank to centre wing. The kick from Eppleston. No mark paid. Davies puts the foot in like a salesman in the door job. Doesn't come out with the ball. Maybe that's what he does. It's a bounce on centre wing. Footscroy taking it right up to Calvin in the third term against the breeze. Charles knocks it down. Atkins, front posse, long looping hand pass to Cameron. Cameron at right centre wing has to beat two. Back to Terry Wallace. Shepherded by Steve Wallace. Back to Atkins. Still inside the square. Wobbly punt kick. Two on one in favour of Carlton. But the mark is to Grant. Well, too easy there, wasn't it, Peter? He read it better, I thought. He, he did read it better. The, the ball hung in the breeze. The Carlton guys going back thinking it was going to carry. That's right. Dean going back looking for the carry and eventually getting in the way of Reese Jones. He's directly in front, but any shot today is difficult. Into the wind. 30 metres out. Oh, shocker, it looks like. One behind in the wash-up could prove costly. He's let himself down because uh, if he'd have kicked those two goals, gee, it would have given Footscray a great buffer. Derui kicks in. Beautiful kick with the wind, so it's still a factor. Atkins, a mark he should have taken, but he gets around Gleeson. The short pass is on to Steve Wallace. To Maloney inside the square. Grant again. No, not this time. Derui in front. Can't take the grab. Socket away by Kolonyuk for a behind. I think Bruce Jones is now playing at full back on Chris Grant. Or well, maybe he was just helping in the wash up there. He bobs up everywhere as Peter Dean goes to get the ball. With that arm guard on. Obviously deemed as legal by the umpires. Peter Dean goes to the outer side Coleman might have got a fingernail to it no says the umpire because he has paid the mark to Glenn Hawker Hawker goes long it's great two on one opportunity for Dorotic he's caught back to Hannah he's caught it's great defense doing well they'll get clear through Eppleston the kick is still short mark taken by Colin yes he's paid 
Carlton fans not happy. Colin Newt, just a short one. Coleman could be run down by Meldrum. Shrugs the tackle. Coleman goes towards full forward. It's over the back. Another Footscray goal coming up. It's kicked by Grant. Grant kicks his third goal. And Footscray go further ahead. 5-11-41 now to 8-8-56. Eight, eight, Playing a few minutes now and they haven't got a goal. Kernahan knocks it down. Hawker picks up the crumbs well. Dragged off the ball. Still they haven't moved it. And here's the speedy Coleman. His kick doesn't go very far. Hawkins, courage. But the Bulldogs gain five metres. I don't think you meant that, Pete, did you? No, he's <laughs> playing well. Actually, cops are bagging Glenn Coleman, but by oh, geez, putting his body in he and is. doing well for his side today. This is his best position, definitely, the ruck. He does better there. Well, he certainly has done today, doesn't he? Kernahan knocks it down. There's a chance for McKinnon. Meldrum. Or was it Meldrum, was it? Thank you. Hit the post. In fact, a coat of paint, that was. When Robertson and Kennedy were both in Hawthorne side. The twins. Now Rhys Jones just managed to cannon into Greg Eppleston. Free kick against David Rhys Jones. He was looking for the free kick himself. I think he's trying to con the umpire. <laughs> I don't think so. They're stirring up a hornet's nest out there. Let's hope Footscray don't fall for it. I don't think they will. Kick up towards centre wing. Now this is Meldrum. Rhys Jones in front. Could have marked. Eppleston at the back. Backup support from Collinyuk. Oh, Wigney did well on all fours virtually the mark in front of Meldrum. Shovels out the hand pass. Collinyuk. Playing well, Collinyuk. Yeah, good little player, Steve Collinyuk. The skipper. Hawkins. Right half back flank. Kernahan. Up from behind Foster. Couldn't take the mark. It's on centre wing. Throw into five. 11 and a half minutes left in the third quarter. As Atkins makes position. Knocked down by Dunlop. He's done well in the ruck. Kernahan and Foster. Foster in front. And Foster's got the mark. Steve Kernahan bleeding from the nose. Kick drops short. Derui in front. So too was Bassett. Alvin tries to spin out but spins into trouble instead. It's shoveled out the front. And it comes to Kolonyuk from Wallace. And the mark taken by Davies. Davies at right half forward flank, but a long way from goal. Hawkins running in support, but Davies goes for the kick into the pocket. Oh, Grant's got it, but he's given away a free kick. Two Carlton players back on him. Dean in front, Silvani at the back. Dean takes the free kick and plays on. Transfers play to the opposite side. It doesn't come off. Cameron. He runs into an open goal, Leon Cameron, and he goals for Footscray. Cameron's first goal, and indeed a valuable one for Footscray against the win. They lead 9-8-62 to 5-12-42 at Princes Park. Yes, it's been four goals, three. Footscray in this third quarter against the Breeze, and only one behind. Kicked by the Carlton side, they look very disjointed. Alex Jeselenko has made plenty of moves. Good play there by Leon Cameron, getting the handball out, running again to receive it. Good goal into the breeze. Now 20 points the difference. 10 minutes left in this quarter. So far it's been a good one for Footscray. Dunlop again up high, but didn't get the tap out. Elvin, short kick just off the edge of the circle. Kernahan, knock on by Dunlop. Foster, his opponent. Onto Hogg. Will it sit for him? It does. Onto Wigney, who should get shepherded by Hogg to keep Gleeson at bay. Well, Blackwell rid at the best of most of those players there. Derui, he got a heave hose, surely. Is it holding the ball? See, there was a mix up there between Dunlop and uh, Derui as to who was going to go for that ball. And so the Blues get out of it with a bounce at midfield. It's still inside the square. Charles and Dunlop. Charles wins that one out. Ineffective as it turned out. McKinnon gets cannoned into by Cameron. Glascott, Hawker. He's got Hannah as an option. He gives it back to Glenn Hawker. He kicked two in the first quarter. Into the square. Touched by Eppleston. A foot from the line and Tip is becoming frayed at the other end of the ground. Yeah, a bit of a dust up there. Steve Collinu. And uh, Peter Dean having a bit of a... How do you do? 
5-13, Carlton, Footscray 9-8. The Blues have scored only two behind in this quarter as Eppleston kicks in. Eppleston's kick to the member's side. The ball hangs up. Great mark taken by Alvin. The hair now flowing a little freer. Tony Tail losing its effect as the game wears on. He was tackled earlier by Dougie Hawkins and pulled to the ground by the ponytail. Well, Alvin should be a chance here if he can guide this ball to his boot correctly. Needs to aim for the right goalpost. Way right of that, I would think, Pete. That breeze is very strong. He does. Gets under it. Rhys Jones. Liberatore. Hawker dives on it. Cameron. Left behind. Sexton. Blackwell. Blackwell shoots for goal. It looks pretty good. No, he's missed to the right. And through for Carlton's 15th behind. 14th behind. 5-14. And Footscray a 9-8. See that scoreboard attended over there is quick, isn't he? They're very quick here. Lincoln, you'll miss them putting it up. Quick draw. Greg Eppleston. Still, still on them in the other goal square. goal square. Up the other end of the ground. Eppleston kicks to the member's side again. Kernahan at the back. Can't get the ball out. Dunlop's underneath it, and Dunlop will take the free kick. Is the advantage paid? No, Dunlop will take it. I was about to say, Ian, the goal umpire had his pen and pencil out there. I don't know whether any numbers were taken. Dunlop's kick slews off the side of his boot and goes out of bounds in the left forward pocket. And if that is an indication of how Carlton are playing, well, you haven't watched this game very closely because the Blues are really struggling. They were 5-11. At half time, they've gone to 5 14. On the other hand, Footscray 5 5 have gone under 9 8. The ball in front of the Carlton goal. McKinnon tries to burst his way through. Hawk, the third goal. Of course, the rain coming now has picked up a little bit again. Meldrum has the job of minding Hawkins. Knocked away by Charles. Out the back is Libra Torre. Atkins. Shovels it out. Dunlop. Blackwell. Good tackle by Wallace. Lead Torre. Snapshot. Is close. An amazing kick. And he's done it. Great goal by the little fellow. His second. And Footscray answer the challenge. 11-9 to 7-15. Yes, Tony Liberatore's second goal. He's a tremendous worker at the bottom of the pack. Have a look at this work again. Liberatore getting the original hand pass out. And buttering up again, always working hard to get into the play again. Tremendous play, Tony Liberatore. He didn't get much of a go last year under Mick Malthouse, but he really deserves every bit of success he has. Good tackle by Terry Wallace, Bernie, too. Excellent tackle. So Footscray lead by 18 points. Carlton get the ball out of the centre, but it's Eppleston tidying up at half back for Footscray. Kick up towards half forward, mark taken by Meldrum. Can't afford to go back. They'll need to play on at every opportunity, the Blues. Meldrum short kick finds Glasscock. Glasscock goes to Blackwell. Blackwell's high kick towards centre-half forward. No mark. Dorotich. Bradley's well caught. Back towards Dorotich, but chipping in the Sevilla. Coleman has crashed to the ground. Umpire adjacent to the action. Kernahan can't break clear. Neither can McGuinness. And now the umpire will come in and ball it up the play just wide of centre half forward for Carlton. Blues trailing by 18 points. They could be facing a one win and four loss situation after this game. Atkins leaves it for Liberatore. Liberatore's kick towards half forward marked by Hannah. So Carlton's defence is holding up pretty well. They just can't get anything out of their forward line. Hannah now being forced to play on. He gets around Charles. The kick falls in short. Mark taken by Alvin. Looking to hand pass. Forced to kick. Left foot kick sits up. Mark taken by Dunlop. Slightly forward of the centre. Dunlop goes along with the drop punt kick. Look at the wind bring it back. It's only gone 20 metres forward and about 50 metres wide. Hog. Handball over the top, a little too far, but McGuinness, it's nice for him. McGuinness kicks to the front, set a half forward. Footscray mark to Davies. Well, oh, Bassett just sat back there and watched Davies take that mark. Expecting another one of these fellow defenders to come in and help him out, but Davies only ice for the ball. They may have been a little bit hard on Bassett there. He could have slipped at the critical moment. 
Davies now distance, no problems. Just has to manage this breeze, which is blowing slightly from his right to his left. Kicks it high. The wind has got it. It's a goal. Great kick. Perfect kick by Davies, sitting it up with the breeze and letting it do the rest. Footscray kick there, 12. 12-9 12 plays 7-15. Got a hand to Gleeson though. Oh, that's a fine mark brought in by Sexton, the rookie. And Sexton has kicked one goal to date. The other player they've missed today, really, uh, Carlton, is Adrian Gleeson. He's been very quiet as well. Uh, young Michael Sexton has the chance to bring the Blues a little bit closer. The distance shouldn't be a problem. The accuracy may be. Or as Kernahan marked it, the goal umpire agrees it's a mark. Now Kernahan in a position very similar to that occupied by Jamie Dunlop earlier. And you can see a fair bit of daylight between the posts, but he'll need to run around. So it shouldn't be a problem if he executes it properly. And he's done just that, I think. No, it hit the post. Three posters to Carlton in the second half. And three behinds to Steve Kernahan. So I guess if we think about that stat, Peter Foster has done an excellent job. Eppleston to kick in. A nice spiral punt would get some distance. He won't do that kick. Dunlop in front. A fist away. McKinnon knocks it further forward for Sexton. Around Sevilla. A snapshot is off target and that is out of bounds on the full it will be a free kick to Footscray and the recipient again will be Eppleston the fans are all pretty excited there I guess they'd be have to be Footscray fans because Carlton supporters haven't got much to cheer about I think they're Carlton there 12 9 plays 7 16 kick in short mark taken by Coleman and he's played a great game for his side Glenn Coleman Plays on quickly. Drop punt kick towards center forward. Footscray back to Hawkins. Footscray got all the runners. McGuinness goes long to the front of the goal square. Silvani punches away. Dean bumped off it by Liberatore. Atkins kick smothered magnificently. Liberatore. Charles can't get his foot to the ball. McGuinness goes back. Gleason. Little left foot chip out wide too far for Bradley Steve Wallace wearing him closely and the boundary line takes the football so we've got a throw in about 70 meters around from the Footscray goal Dunlop there umpire allows play to go on Darui just gets his left foot to the ball Kernahan can't gather it Foster showing desperation Kernahan oh. looking for holding the ball decision now there's a free kick being picked out of it. Charles. It's going to Footscray. To Charles. Badly disciplined play there by Carlton. Bradley limping. Charles goes towards full forward. Dean takes the mark and plays on quickly. Left foot kick. Just in front of Kernahan. Goes back to Dean. Ball kept in by Gleason. Umpire calls for a boundary throw in. Gleeson looking anxiously at the umpire. Play goes on. 23 points. Footscray's lead. Hannah. Bradley. One of his rare possessions. Towards centre half forward. Push in the back. Against Sexton. Pretty obvious from here. Free kick to Sevilla. Sevilla's kick. Straight to Gleeson. Around Collinyuk. McKinnon. Wobbly old kick. Dorotic, or well, no one to get the hand pass to. Good tackle, Sevilla. That's a trip. And the free kick will go to Troy Maloney. Thought about the hand pass, and now he does affect it to Foster. Into the circle. Charles. Gee, they're not manning up, Carlton, are they? Not too well at the moment, Bernie. Now, with the wind, he could lob this just about in the goal square if he gets onto it. He's got in short, though. Over the head of Bassett, it'll be left to Silvani to do any tidying up work. If he can, Davies beats him to it, but a shocking kick is out of bounds on the full, or is it a point? One behind, says the goal umpire. 
and that might have been over generous but it's a valuable one they'll take it 12 10 to 7 16. Carford with the job ahead of it 14 55 left in the quarter Steve Silvani goes in short and Gleason, as it turned out luckily perhaps takes the mark Derui fumbles does well to get the hand pass away to Meldrum back to Gleason. they haven't gained anything from that it'll be left to Glascott on another fumble good tackle by McGuinness so Carlton with about four possessions have carted the ball from one side of the ground to the other and that's a push in the back to McGuinness well that's terrible play by Carlton they look disorganised at the moment Ian they're rattled Good that play by Tony McGuinness. McGuinness fell over. It wasn't a free. Terrible. He fell into his back. Shocking You're decision joking. when you look at the replay. Oh, come on. Almost a mark by Grant Silvani to Dunlop. Look at the wind take that. Could be out of bounds on the fall. It is. Unbelievable wind here at Princess Park today. Atkins with the free. Short passes to Davies. Now he really would need to aim. <laughs> about the scoreboard for this to go in for a goal the importance is how he drops the ball if the wind affects the ball as it goes from hand to foot he's got no chance Let's see what he can do with it Davies great kick yes it's coming around and what's he done with it it's a goal tremendous kick Today's match is part of the conditions. Saw them get up to win by 27 points. Their second successive victory over the Blues at Prince's Park.